The National Association of Proprietresses and Proprietors of Private Schools, the Nigerian NAPS, has vehemently admonished the federal government to revise its decision for removing Nigerian unity schools from participating in the forthcoming West Africa Examination Council. A representative of the group, Ayodele Isibo, was speaking at the premises of MITV News, explained that the move to deny the senior secondary school three students from sitting for work would tantamount to withdrawing their franchise and as well force most teachers out of school. Isibo notes that the denial may result to brain drain and loss of foreign exchange as most students would leave the shore of the country to neighboring countries to write the exam, which is currently happening in Nigeria university system because of incessant strike. He however stated that the schools are already prepared for the exam by putting in place adequate measures to guide against the spread of coronavirus during the period of the examination. We want him to actually rescind the decision not to allow Unity School to participate in this year work for many reasons. Number one, not doing work this year. And according to what they said, that we will even want to do it maybe in a year's time. We disenfranchise the children. It will, because the only thing that is sacrosanct in Nigerian education so far is writing terminal exam like WAEG. If we continue to do dilly dallying with our education, it will, which is already in comatos, it will completely die off. So we want the minister that all schools, especially private schools, we have made adequate preparation, extreme preparation, either by wearing face masks, which you always wear, including face shield. And of course, when you are asking only SS3 and probably GS3 among the six arm in a secondary school to come and do exam, it means only one third of the space of a school will be used. That is 100% social distancing on its own.